Welcome back friends and today I'd like to talk to you all when it is time to sell your silver and what you had in mind. Now I just want to give you some information about when I went to a it was a silver and gold store here in Los Angeles. I've been to a, a few and and basically they all sell and buy silver at the same prices like for spot and I just wanted to pass that information on to you and maybe it's different where you live but I just wanted to give the basically newcomers and that's buying precious metals and maybe even those experienced ones that still hasn't had the opportunity maybe for the price to increase for them to sell it but just some things to consider is that when I went to this like I say not every precious dealer and seller is going to be like this but I went to this one particular one and I was just asking about what they buy and sell sat silver and they said that any generic silver they sell at two dollars over spot and for eagles they would buy uh, excuse me for eagles that they sell for three dollars over spot and then when I asked them all would if I wanted to sell you some what would you buy my silver for and they said that for generics they would buy it for two dollars under spot again they would buy it for two dollars under spot and then for eagles he said in good condition he'll buy it at spot all day long and I didn't ask him what his uh, what his idea of what good condition is is good condition no toning no marks no scratches so I didn't ask him into about detail about what his terminology of good condition for eagles are, but he was only gonna they were only gonna buy it for at spot price. So that's something to keep in mind is that when you when the buyer when the individual silver buyer starts branching off and buying these different designs and maybe you you like the the picture where it's maybe it's colored and or this some some poured be careful on when you buy it so much for over spot because when it's time to sell you you may not like what the buyer is offering you and so it got me think it, you have to also think about are you gonna sell it at a precious metals dealer or are you gonna try to sell it on eBay and and where maybe Craigslist and where about your silver getting to the buyer and is the buyer 
trustworthy? Are they going to try to scam you? So, so some things to, to consider when you're buying your silver. And when I was at that same precious dealer store, there was a gentleman in there selling a 10 ounce silver bar and a, a few eagles, a few silver eagles. And they asked him for his ID. So they took his driver's license and then they photocopied it. And I thought that was kind of odd. So when I, when the worker was helping me, or when the worker was talking to me about maybe buying or sell, selling silver, I just kind of asked, why, why, or I asked him when it's time to sell silver, what, what do I need to do? And he said that, well, just bring your silver and your driver's license and it'll be a few minutes and you'll get your cash. And I asked him, well, why do you need my driver's license? And he said that just to verify that this is your silver that you're selling. And if they need to, they maybe they they need to contact you if, if you brought in stolen silver, but I don't necessarily know how they can know if it's stolen or not so for those people that think that there's going to be some anonymity or uh, it, thinking that they're going to be anonymous when they sell their silver they may want to reconsider that because, like I say, they were asking for driver's license when it's time to sell the silver. So, like I say, you may not have that anonymity when it, when it comes time to sell your silver and you want to sell it under the radar. So that's just some things that I just wanted to pass along to the silver community now gold I'm sure is the same you'll probably need a driver's license to sell it if you go to the precious metals dealer and like I say it might not be all but the one the the few that I've went to and I didn't ask about the spot overpriced and underpriced of selling gold but like I say just recap the stores that I've went to the the so-called generic silver he they were only gonna buy it for two dollars under spot and then for silver eagles they were gonna buy it at spot price and then they were selling and then the precious metals dealers were selling their generic for two dollars over spot and then their silver eagles they were selling it for three dollars over spot so like i say just something to consider when it's time to sell your silver and until next time friends have a great day.